Hello, this is Gray, a poet with Salt City Slam. I got a poem here for contributor Ryan Ross. Ryan, thank you so much. Ryan contributed to our Indiegogo campaign, which you can see right here. And I have a brief poem for him that I wrote, uh, and I am going to be doing it uh, currently right now. Here we go. <clears throat> Due to the warmer-than-average winter, there has been an explosion in the Miller moth population this season. While many see this as a nuisance and perhaps view these insects as a pest, I have decided that when God gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But for me, when God gives me moths, I make a cape out of moths. That is, I am not going to slaughter several thousand moths and sew them together, thus making a cape out of their carcasses, but... Rather, I intend to capture several thousands of these moths, tie kite strings around their bodies, and then these kite strings will all be attached to a harness that will, I will strap into every night. With their numbers reaching the millions, that should be enough to lift me off the ground to fly. And I will hold a light above me and in front of me, and the moths will be attracted to this light, and they will all start flapping their wings wildly. I imagine a large amount of moth dust will surround me right before my body lifts from the ground, creating this cool magic effect. And with this small light, I will be able to control the direction of the moths by moving it up or down, left or right. I have no idea how fast I will go. I will probably have to find a method of measuring the sum of the power output if I ever intend on getting rich off this idea, such as, like, this cape is, you know, 15 moth powers or something like that, or 500 million moth powers or something along those lines. If the moth on the ceiling is any indication, speed will likely vary and flight will be frantic. I will likely run headlong into walls and ceilings frequently until I have fine-tuned my navigation technique, which would thwart my, my uh, noble attempts to become a superhero. Also, I will need to be sure to avoid any light that is brighter than the one I hold, or else I could potentially spend many nights suspended next to a light pole, waiting for morning when the lights go down and the moths gently lower me to the ground. So there you go, Ryan. Uh, make a, you know... Make a, uh, that's an idea that, that's all yours. You can, you can take that idea and just run with it. Um, so uh, I also have to say thank you to all of our contributors. Uh, if you want a poem written for you, go ahead and uh, go to our Indiegogo campaign page and uh, you can feel free to leave us a writing prompt as well to make it more personalized. And before I head out here, I just want to give a quick shout out to some of our corporate or not corporate our local businesses that have sponsored us we really appreciate them uh, that is the vertical diner off broadway theater jitterbug coffee hop and the king's english go check out those fine uh those fine esta local establishments and as well uh weller bookworks which is the home of our slam so thank you and i hope you have a good night take care